excellent experiments. Magic and mayhem. Facts and fun. And today, check out how to do this. Wow! Wow! Over to Stacy and Seth. What's up guys? Welcome to Seva's lab. Today we are finally using Seth's hair. Wait, for, for one. Don't worry, you're not gonna cut it or put it on fire. <sighs> okay, let's get started. So what we're gonna need are balloons, some small pieces of paper, and Seth's mane. Yeah. So first he's going to rub the balloon on his hair. Really rub it. And then gonna put oh okay. On top of the paper. So the papers are supposed to like float. But I guess my hair is a bit too oily today. How about you try yours? Let me try. Okay. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Oh it's working. Oh it is? Okay. Let's try again. It worked. I might have over rubbed. So guys, we took other balloons because the other ones weren't working as well, so we just got some other ones. So now we're gonna rub the balloons in our hair. Is it working? See guys, you see it working? The papers are like hopping on the balloon. I'm gonna rub it again. Okay. Whoa. That's really cool. So Stacy, how does this work? Well, when you rub the balloon on your hair, it creates a surplus of negative charges. And when you put the balloon on, on top of the papers, they get attracted to the balloon and then they lift. That's really interesting, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what happens. Wow. We really, really enjoyed this balloon static electricity experiment. And I hope you guys do it at home because it's very easy. You just need the balloon, your hair, and some pieces of paper. And you can also use a ruler because the ruler works the same way as the balloon. This is Seth. And this is Stacy. And this is Sema's Lab. Stay connected with me on the Super Sema YouTube channel.